moment of summer, there's fresh, local food at Giant. Make summer fresh and local. Save on farm fresh Jersey peaches, only 99 cents per pound. The rain keeps coming, making the threat of this even worse. The yellow weather alert continues through tomorrow. I'll tell you what to expect in the morning. White supremacists are ready to rally again, but not in Charlottesville. They're coming here. A star overdoses on opioids. A local man talks about how the drug that saved her life saved his too. Tonight's Verify centers around a viral video. Before you see it, know that the woman you'll see is okay. <laughs> Was that real? We've got the answer. The News at 11 team is ready. Let's get started. Well, this doesn't look safe at all, but somebody tried to drive through it anyway. You are looking at Woodburn Road in Annandale. It's not far from the Gallows Road exit on the Beltway. Good evening, I'm Leslie Foster. Your morning commute could involve some detours, too. Those showers and storms just keep coming. That yellow weather alert is in place tonight, right on through the day tomorrow. I've got the chief here to give us a first look at the morning forecast. Yeah, we're tired of issuing these yellow weather alerts, I and mean, we bet. are. So uh, let's get right to it. A uh, flash flood watch still covers the entire metro area. It's been extended, as we mentioned earlier, till 6 p.m. tomorrow. There are some aerial flood warnings up to the north of us, but the main headline here is it will go through tomorrow into the evening hours. Now, let's uh, show you radar. This is over the last couple of hours. I widen this way out. This is actually some good news. Look down to the south of D.C. This has kind of been the source of our train of tropical moisture. We have a little bit of a respite. That's good. Heavy activity now pushing off to the north and still some heavy activity along I-81. That's really what we've been more concerned about along I-81 tonight and tomorrow for that matter. So one heavy storm moving through Baltimore and another little storm kind of picking up steam in southern Prince George's County and some pretty good rains out toward I-81 south of Winchester. So these are all going to move to the north. Strasburg gives some heavy rain. Now you're going to have more in a bit. This to the west of Culpeper. Rainfall rates about an inch per hour, and this is just picking up steam south of Upper Marlboro. That's going to move up toward College Park on our storm tracker at about 1123. We'll come back. We'll talk about when the yellow weather alerts finally end and give you a look ahead to the weekend. It's been almost a year since that Unite the Right rally turned violent in Charlottesville, Virginia. The organizers who put together that white supremacist event want to hold another one next month. Now, Charlottesville originally said no. The organizer sued and applied to have a permit to have their event here in D.C. So where does all of this stand tonight? Here's Lorenzo Hall. A white civil rights rally marking the anniversary of last year's Unite the Right event in Charlottesville is still on, but this time in D.C. on August 12th in front of the White House. We founded this country. Organizer Jason Kessler officially withdrew his petition to host yet another rally in Charlottesville after a judge said no. So shortly after backing out Tuesday, Kessler sent out a tweet to all of his followers saying now he's going to be focusing exclusively on Washington, D.C. Kessler also posted this video on YouTube recently, making their message clear. White people are being replaced in our own countries. We're not being allowed to speak up about it. Kessler is telling supporters to only bring an American or Confederate flag and says wearing a body camera is mandatory. However, he's telling protesters not to bring weapons, shields, or racist symbols, saying this is a white civil rights rally, not a street fight. You might recall last year's rally turned deadly. We're going to have a parade down Pennsylvania Avenue, and it's going to be peaceful. When neo-Nazis, KKK. At the same time, another movement is growing online called Shut It Down D.C., with organizers pushing for what they call a mass mobilization against white supremacy. Nearly two dozen organizations in the D.C. area are planning counter demonstrations during the weekend of that white civil rights rally. Now, the white supremacists want to come back. Now, I should note the application for the white civil rights rally was approved, but the permit still hasn't been issued. The National Park Service is still working out a few logistics like security. Leslie. All right, Lorenzo, thank you. New tonight, we've learned a Metro rider has died after a Metro employee stabbed him in the chest. And we know his name, Jeremy Bond, 28 years old from Rockville. That stabbing happened just past midnight at the Friendship Heights station. And witnesses say Bond grew upset waiting for the next train. Investigators say he pounded on the station manager's booth, stepped inside, and got into a physical altercation with that metro.